The wind's right. Yeah. Like, I did, and there's Tom. Secure play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Now, I wish I had somebody to throw it, but I don't. So. I thought I heard something. Do you think I should put it in auto level to throw it? Might help. I don't know. Let's just check the control surfaces. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna check the control surfaces again. I swear I thought I heard some kids earlier. Now, if I don't have auto level on, it's more responsive. Maybe I'll just fly it in uh, manual mode. So you can, in case something happens, you got more control, right? Right, it gives me a little more control. Oh, now one more thing. I might as well put my glasses on. Since I don't have goggles. <laughs> well, at least they feel the thrust on it. Now I do. Not looking at much though. Oh, I can't see it in the sun. Well, that auto level really works good. All I gotta do is steer it. I don't even have to do anything but steer left and right. <laughs> I keep knocking the throttle down because it doesn't take any throttle. I'm on one third throttle. Are you still recording, John? Uh, yeah, now. Okay. It's not recording it because it's too close to the sunlight. As soon as I let go of the stick, it levels right out. Oh, I still can't see it. But if we block the sun out, we won't be having a warm day like this. Huh. Now I can keep probably catch it. If we get zoomed out. Uh, no, I can't. I'm in fact, I'm going in circles. I throttle way down. I'm going to see if I can get it coming low. It's only like a quarter throttle now. I can't even find it. It's can't too bright. Up, oh, no, uh. Okay, it's right in front of you. I uh, still can't get it, and the sun's hit me again, so skip. You do realize my eyes are more sensitive than the than some Let's do people. a flyby. You can get it now. I know, I still can't get it. You're moving too hot. I like the way it comes right around like that. What, uh, how, uh, how, how does the extremes of the rudder feel? Here's the rudder, I'm just ruddering it around now. I'm just guessing where I'm aiming at right now. It comes right over the top of me. It wasn't over the top of me, it was a little bit next to it. That's a good thing though. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little dizzy. I'm still guessing where you're at still. But I can't see the display. I Hopefully I got that. <laughs> that worked awesome. And now what's cool about this, if I want to shut the plane off, I just pull that plug out. I don't have to take it apart and disconnect the battery. This is the Vector OSD display. And I'm going to switch to 
2D mode. It's in off right now. I'm going to switch. There it goes into 2D mode. And that is actually auto level. That's what I would call auto level. Now, for you uh, who are interested, this recording is actually off the DVR that's inside my Dominator V2 goggles. And I'm receiving the signal through a 1280 megahertz video feed. So I've got circular polarized antennas. Uh, one on the goggles and one on the plane and it's a 1280 megahertz video feed so it's using a laser brushless gimbal uh, module that goes into the bat chart goggles it has a little break up once in a while but it does pretty good makes a nice portable ground station okay on the display here I'm gonna go through some of these readings uh, bottom left hand corner we got a double arrow there and some numbers running that is the distance to pilot. Now next over, there's a little guy running with a G next to it. That is the GPS uh, ground speed. And then in the bottom middle, there's another guy running. And that is the air speed from the airspeed sensor. And then to the right of that, there is the GPS course. All right, now on the right-hand side middle, of course, you have the ladder. For the altitude and under that is the variometer which shows the little graph of the up and down of the plane. Now over on the left there's another ladder and that's the speed of the plane and right above that ladder on the left there's the mode which is 2D right now. Now up in the upper left hand corner there's uh, some bars next to the 100 that is the RSSI or receiver signal strength. And then under that is the link quality, which is not working right now. I don't know why. It was working on the bench, but some setting must have changed. Now to the right of that, there is the satellite symbol with eight satellites. And then we have under that the, uh, the GPS altitude, which is 42 right now. Now right in the upper middle, you have your home arrow and underneath that you have the barometric altitude now more on the right there is the 12.11 volts that's the motor battery or flight battery and under that the voltage for the camera or video so there's two voltages and then to the right of that you have the amperage for the main battery the flight battery and the milliamp hours used okay coming in for a landing there you go. Now Mike was wearing the goggles, and uh, so he was having fun with that. Here, Mike. 